in the process of testing of a pod set, which is considered to be as a decision making process, we can make errors. This module talks about the types of errors that we make. So, in this process of decision making, either we are rejecting a null hypothesis or we are failing to reject a null hypothesis. A null hypothesis is, is rejected if the computed value of the test statistics falls in the rejection region. Here in this diagram, you can see the shaded region is considered to be as the region for rejection of H0. So if any value that we get from the test statistics falls in this region, we reject the null hypothesis. But if a value of our test statistics does not fall into shaded region, but the other region, which is known as the acceptance region, then we conclude that we fail to reject H0. And it's also called non rejection region. There are four possibilities that can possibly occur as a process of decision making. Either you make a right decision that H0 is true and you fail to reject H0, or H0 is false and you reject it. These are good decisions, but it's very likely that we make certain errors that if H0 is true and we reject it. That's called type 1 error. On the other hand, if H0 is false and we fail to reject it, that will arise to the type 2 error. So type 1 error occurs when we reject a true null hypothesis. It is rejecting H0 given that H0 is true. So type 1 error is the wrong rejection of a true null hypothesis. It's also referred to as false positives because the type 1 error is detecting an effect that is not present there. One can avoid committing type 1 error. The probability of committing type 1 error is specified by the level of significance. If a high level of significance is selected, let's say 10% or 20% in the statistical test, the probability of rejecting a null hypothesis increases. This means that at high significance level, the chance of committing type 1 error is high. Thus, in order to avoid or reduce the type 1 error, a fairly low level of significance is selected. But it does have its own consequences too, which we will discuss. The other type of error that we can possibly make in the process of testing of hypothesis is type 2 error. The type 2 error occurs when we fail to reject a false null hypothesis. That is, we do not reject H0 given that H0 is false. When H0 is false, it should be rejected by the test of hypothesis in an ideal situation. And if an investigator selects a significance level, say 0.001, or 0.005, that is fairly small. Then the conventional level, then the probability of rejecting a wrong null hypothesis reduces. So the investigator is said to be committing type 2 error. The type 2 error is wrong acceptance of a false null hypothesis. Type 2 error is also referred to as false negatives because the type 2 error is a failure to detect an effect that is actually present. One can also avoid type 2 errors. Lower level of significance increases the chances of type 2 error. So it is advised not to choose too low level of significance. The general convention is that we use 5% level of significance, 2% level of significance, or 1% level of significance. But one of the most commonly used level of significance is 0.05. Thank you.